Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. Today we are going to solve one exponential equation which is based on radicals. You can see 4 raised to the power root x plus 6 raised to the power root x equal to 9 raised to the power root x. We have to solve for the value of x. So let's get it started. I am going to substitute root x equal to u in our equation. Once I do that, equation will look like 4 power u plus 6 power u equal to 9 power u. Now divide both sides by 9 power u. So I will write like this 9 power u, 9 power u, 9 power u. Now one property of exponent will come into the picture that is a power n over b power n can be written as a over b whole power n. So I will write 4 over 9 whole power u plus 6 over 9 whole power u equal to 1. <clears throat> this term will get cancelled out so 1 will come. Now I will write 4 over 9 as 2 over 3 whole square and power is u plus this is 2 over 3 I will cancel 6 and 9 then 2 over 3 power u equal to 1. Now one property of exponent that is a power b power c can be written as a power c power b. We can swap the powers whenever it is required. So this 2 and u will be swapped. So I will write 2 over 3 whole power u whole power square plus 2 over 3 whole power u equal to 1. Now let us substitute 2 over 3 whole power u equal to suppose t. So equation will be equation will be t square plus t equal to 1 or t square plus t minus 1 equal to 0. This is very important equation quadratics. It is one of the quadratic equation as we can see the degree is 2. Now how we will solve this? So we will solve this equation by quadratic formula. So as per our equation if you see a is equal to 1 let me write formula first. So t can be written as minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. As per our equation a is 1, b is 1, c is negative 1. Let's find out the value of t. So, t will be equal to a is 1, b is 1, c is negative 1. So, t will be minus b, so minus b, minus 1, plus minus is square root, b square, minus 4ac, so plus 4, divided by 2. So that means minus 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2. These are the values of t. That means t is minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 and minus 1 plus root 5 over 2. You can see the first value is always negative. But what is t exactly? t is 2 over 3 whole power u. Now try to understand why this is not a valid solution because see whether u is real means it is whether positive, negative or zero. u is real valued. If you are putting u plus or u negative or u zero, t won't come out negative. t 
T will be always positive. So here the first value minus 5 minus root 5 over 2 that is negative. So it is invalid solution. So it is invalid. So what value of t we will accept that is minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 is the accepted value of t. This will get cancelled out. Now let us put the value. So 2 over 3 power u is equal to negative 1 plus square root 5 over 2. This is what the value of t. So now we have to target x. So take log both sides base 10. Log means base 10. So u log 2 over 3 equal to log negative 1 plus square root 5 over 2. Now one property of logarithmic will come into the picture that is log a over b can be written as log a minus log b. This is something we will use this identity or property of log here. So that value will be u will be equal to log minus 1 plus root 5 minus log 2 divided by log 2 minus log 3. Check this. Now let us put the value of log. So root 5 is 2.23606. So that value of u will be equal to log of log root 5 is 2.23. So root 5 minus 1 will be 1.23. So I will write 1.23606 minus log 2 is 0 0.10 divided by log 2 minus log 3. So log 2 is 0 0.3010 minus 0. Point, log 3 is 0 0.4771. So once I will simplify take log of that number that is coming out 0 0.09239. If I will simplify this then I am getting 1.1865. This is my value of u. So this is u. If you will consider u means it is root x. Now that means x will be equal to take a square both sides. So 1.1865 whole square. So that value is 1.40801. This is your x and answer. Now let us check whether it is correct or not. So let us verify. 4 rate raised to the power root x plus 6 raised to the power root x equal to 9 raised to the power root x. I am putting directly root x value, this value. So 4 raised to the power 1.1865 plus 6 raised to the power 1.1865 equal to 9 raised to the power 1.1865. If I will put in the calculator or you can simplify this, then first value is coming out 5.1801. This value is 8.3806 and this value is 13.558. Once you add both the numbers, it is coming out 13.558. 5, which is equal to 13.558. That means our calculation is absolutely right. And what our answer that is x is equal to 1.40801. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you still not subscribe my channel, please do subscribe as you will get more adventurous mathematical problems. Thank you.